Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use an online concordancer. Um, in this case I'm here at lexitutor.ca, uh, the English version. Here we got the keywords and I'm going to write if only. Now here I can choose any corpus that I like. Uh, I got one million words here in the brown. Uh, this is the reading corpus, the spoken corpus, so you can choose them all. Um, uh, you also have here other graded corpus depending whether you are teaching or learning different levels um, in medicine, commerce, humanities. So I'm just going to choose the brown corpus for now. And uh, I'm particularly interested in the words to the right. So I just want one word there. Um, so basically with that information we can start getting our concordances and um, there we got we got 20 so if we look here um, we could see here that after if only we got the verb in past tense which is what we usually teach to students however there are other patterns here which are not very common for example if only for if only because if only the if only two. So this is the value of concordances that it shows real language in use and not just what we see in textbooks. So that's basically how a concordance works and if you want you can select some of these features here if you don't want to have them all and cover your own version of it uh, you can extract them by clicking there, so you have reduced your corpus. Uh, this is particularly useful when you have a very, very long list of concordances, let's say more than 100. Um, interestingly, you can also uh, choose them all, any 10 or any 30, well in this case they are not 30, but if you click any, it chooses them at random, which makes it interesting. However, you can also do it yourself if you are interested in a particular in a particular structure. So basically that's how a concordance works. I hope you have liked it.